If you're in a folder in your drive and need access to a file that's in another folder in your drive, then you can create a shortcut to that file so that it can appear in multiple folders. So a shortcut is basically a link that points back to the original file so you've always got the most up-to-date version. So to create a shortcut, you simply right-click on the file or folder, click on Organize, and then click Add Shortcut. Then navigate to where you want the shortcut to be placed. So I'm going to say I want it in my drive and I want it to go to this particular folder. Now you can also use keyboard shortcuts to create a shortcut, but it only works in Google Chrome. So to do that, go to the file that you want to create a shortcut of and press Ctrl C to copy the file or the folder to the clipboard. Then navigate to where you want it to be saved and press Ctrl, Shift and V and it will paste the shortcut into that relevant folder. So you can easily spot shortcut files as there will be an arrow over the folder or the file icon. Now if you're in the list view like I am in here, then you'll also notice that there's no information about the shortcut file, as in who owns it, when it was last modified, or even the file size. So if you right click on the shortcut file, you'll see the options have now been split into two sections. So the top section is for the original file and the bottom section is for the shortcut file. So your shortcut options are rename the shortcut. So you're not renaming the original file, it's just the shortcut that you're giving a new name to. You can make a copy of the shortcut, which does exactly what it says, but whilst you can create a copy of the shortcut, it's worth noting that you can't create an actual shortcut to another shortcut file. The next option you have is to organize and you can move the shortcut file to a different location in your drive. And you can also star the file or folder too, so that it appears in your starred folder over here in the left hand menu. The next option down is file information. So this means you can bring up the details and activity of the actual file. And the final option is move to bin. So this is to actually delete the shortcut. However, you can't delete the shortcut if it's inside a folder that somebody else owns. Also, if the original file is deleted or is in the bin folder, then the shortcut to that file will no longer work. So let's just say we want to delete this shortcut. So I'm going to click move to bin. So once you've deleted the shortcut, it stays in your bin or your trash folder for 30 days before being permanently deleted. So if we go to the bin by clicking on the bin or the trash folder over here on the left hand side, and you can see this is the file, this is the shortcut that we just deleted. Now if you want to permanently delete it now, then you can simply either click on the specified file here to select it and then click on the delete forever icon here up at the top or if you want to get rid of everything at once then you can simply click on empty bin here in the top right corner and that will get rid of everything at the same time delete forever and now it's empty and job done